How's it going guys, English Twist, I take assist. Thanks for joining me today and for showing me your support. As you can see, I'm rocking my Moshi Concerti today in the red and white. Remember what I called it, the strawberry swirl, if you will. All right, absolutely love it. Brilliant case, I'll get back to you with a day-to-day -day up today on how I'm getting on with this thing. All right, well, without further ado, the subject of today's video is actually a uh, an application um, not so much a review, it's sort of a review stroke tutorial, sort of managerial uh, workaround step. Okay, well first of all I just wanted to send out a shout out to my good friend uh, uh, AppleKid2G, if you can see in the background there, he actually made me a boot logo, because uh, he, in a response to my logo me video, he's uh, he sent me a response back with this uh, boot logo and it basically says English Twist iTech Assist and it has an iPhone 3G with the Union Jack on the back and at the bottom it does actually say starting up because like I say it was originally set for my uh, boot logo but unfortunately I haven't actually got it uh, to the right size to be able to make it my boot logo which I'd love to do but uh, without putting it to waste I've obviously made it my background uh, because I think it's absolutely brilliant. He did a really good job with it. Hopefully you can see it on there. I'm not sure if you can, but um, I've got my time and other applications in the way, but bear with me. I'll, I'll definitely, you'll see it in the future because that's not going anywhere. All right, so shout out to uh, AppleKid2G. Thank you very much. I'm very thankful for you doing that. You know, I'm very grateful for that. And I shall probably incorporate it perhaps into one of my introductions on my videos. We'll see. All right, but without further ado, let's get into the subject of this. All right, guys, well, if you're familiar with SSHing into your iPhone's directories, root files, etc., you'll know that one of the big things that you had to do when you were messing around with these cracked applications and things, you had to um, generate uh, document folders, you had to change the mobile installation files, and just generally have a bit of a runaround in order to get the desired effect. Well, our good friends at uh, Haculus, utilizing uh, Installer, have devised an application. And actually, while I'm talking, I'm gonna go, I will go ahead and run this. Okay, so you're gonna need a jailbroken iPhone with access to Cydia, where well, you're gonna enter Cydia. And like I was saying, these guys have de basically devised an application that negates any need to make any files of your own, you know, going SSHing into your iPhone and then creating these files manually. This application does it all for you in one stop shop. You just run the application and it's done. And you'll see on the little description that it tells you, you know, what exactly it does, uh, courtesy of Haculus. All right, well, let's wait for this to load up. And as you can see, mine takes a while. Uh, if you zoom in here, mine takes a second or two because I've got a, I've got a number of applications and sources that it has to refresh. Um, okay, now that's done. Let's zoom out here. And we're going to bring ourselves down to Sections. Press the Sections tab. And then we're going to come up to All Packages. And then we're going to search the index for M. Dee, dee, dee. There we go, and we're going to look for me packages, me patch. Sorry, me patch. M I P A T C H. There it is, right there, guys. If you can see that. Oh, wrong way. Me patch. Me patch is the mobile installation file. And what we're going to do is we're going to select that. As you can see, it's uh, Haculus. I like that, and it gives us a little description of what it says. Me patches the uh, mobile installation file on your iPhone or iPod Touch so that you can install the cracked IPAs. This is absolutely essential in order to get the cracked apps to working. This also creates two document folders so that anything your IPA save will be stored properly. All right, so there you have it, guys. What you're going to do? Just come up once you found the me patch. You're going to press the install. Okay, hit confirm, give it a second, let it run its thing. As you can see, it runs through, downloading, downloading. All right, there it goes, and it's doing its thing. Um, All right, and as you can see now, it says complete, and it says return to Cydia. 
we'll come back and then we'll just return home hit the home button and you're done all right just give it a second and it will go back good job done there all right guys and i've put a little link in the description of how to get win scp which is the actual application that you will require to uh, do the ssh procedures um also oh, there's also the step-by-step -step procedures how to it like i say install it and then get it to actually run um hopefully this has been an assistance to you today um, this is the kind of videos that I do enjoy to do, the little on-the-spot tutorials. I find out the latest, um, latest news on the block and I bring it straight to your, straight to your computer top, okay? Well, this has been a video tutorial um, brought to you from English Twist, iTech Assist. You know what time it is, guys. It's time to rock out. This is English Twist, signing out.